What's up, everybody? It's Nezzy. We're back in the studio. As you can see, I got a couple things going on here. We got the broken Sentin 3S. You do order a rear axle, right side. But I wanted to show you. This will just be like a little comparison video. So, I just picked this my most recent purchase. I bought this used. That's the Arm Italian 6S EXB. And this is also a recent purchase. This is the uh, Red Cap Machete 6S, 1 6th scale. So I just wanted to sh show you how similar these two cars really are. I mean, just look at them. The low stance. They're both 6S. They're both gray and red. So same color. Got the red aluminum in the machete. Um, I got the red uh, RPMA arms front and rear. Also, it's got the uh, EXB aluminum. But yeah, look how similar they look. They're both really low. So a little comparison there. Uh, let's see, what else? What can we compare this to? So, let me see here. If I grab a, that Creighton 6S right here. Let's grab that. Hold on, let me pause it. So just comparing. So that's the Armour Creighton 6S BLX. I got the blue RPM arms in that one. And that's my J Concepts body. Pretty sweet. I got these tires. These are actually new. They just got a little bit of dust and dirt on them. But that's it next to the, the Italian 6S EXB. As you can see, the wheelbase is the same, just the tires are smaller on the Italian. But they're both 1 8 scale, and that's 1 6 So that's the replacement for the Shredder 4S 1 6 scale, which is actually. A little bit bigger than the machete uh, so let's see here let's say we take the Typhon so these are actually my old Italian uh, the version 1 Italian 6s BLX tires now that's a pretty sight so that's the 1 8 scale Arma Typhon 6s BLX and these are I'm keeping these on air permanent um, when I do want to do some like track racing or dirt fashion, these are my Proline Badlands. These are for the Typhon, the old ones, the stock one, should I say, got worn out. But yeah, as you can see, the Italian is probably three inches longer than the Typhon. This is a 1 8 scale buggy. These all three are 1 8 and they're all three Arma 6S vehicles. The Italian's the most expensive. So basically, it goes $500 for that. And then $550 for that plus tax. And then $700 plus tax for that. Italian. So I wanted to just do... A, this is basically a comparison of Arma 6S vehicles. So now we take the Arma Outcast 6S EXB and we put that down there. Now that's a pretty sight. Creighton is going to be the longest just because of the wheels. So the Creighton and the Italian have pretty much the same stance. Uh, the Outcast 6S EXB is probably, I'm going to say, an inch and a half shorter than the Italian. And then, of course, the Typhon, and with those tires on, is about the same length, but a more narrow uh, wheelbase. So there they are. That goes for 700 bucks. You can get the Notorious. That's my little light bar mounted. These are the red RPM A-arms. My EXBs have red RPMs. And I also got the mud guards on the back. I'm probably going to do that same thing with my Italian. All right, so now we've got another 6S vehicle up here. This is the Armor Fire Team 6S BLX. So let's throw that down there. It's hard to get it all in the frame. All right, so there's five of Armor's baddest 6S vehicles. So. The they're actually going to discontinue this. They just discontinued the Italian 6S EXB. I don't know what their plan is, but that's an awesome vehicle. So isn't the fire team. I don't know why they're going to discontinue it. I'm assuming it's because it wasn't that popular. It's one of my favorite trucks, but that's one seven scale 6S. These all five of these have the Spectrum Firm 150 amp ESC 2050 kV brushless motor. So they're all running the same systems. But they all range and vary in different prices, and they all do certain things, you know, that they're all unique in their own way. So that has the rear disc brake, so you can actually 
a uh, little switch on the remote, you can lock up the brakes. That goes for 650. It was on sale. That's when I bought it. 650 bucks. So that's probably, I don't know. The Creighton's long. I'm going to say that's about an inch and a half longer than the uh, Creighton 6S. And it gets smaller and smaller. Of course, we got the Typhoon on the end. So we've got 650 bucks, 550 bucks. Now this is without tax. Okay, 650 without tax, 550. $700, $700, and $500. And, uh, yeah, what else do they have? The Mojave is success. I don't own that. I'd like to get it one day. I don't really have any short cost vehicles, except that's the only one, and that's the Sentin 3S. But I used to have a couple slashes, but these here, these are the, that's the Creighton 4S version 2. That's the Outcast 4S version 2, but I put the Spectrum Firma. 150 amp ESC, 2050 kV brushless motor on that, and an 18 tooth pinion. And of course, you got your big dogs. They discontinued this dog right here. This is the one fifth scale Arm Outcast 8S. I don't know why. You can only get the EXB roller now, which is stupid. I don't know why they took that off the market. And the other big dogs from Traxxas. But yeah, I just want to do a quick comparison of the 6S Arma lineup. Pretty cool. I need more 6S Armas. Yes, I'm thinking the Mojave next. We'll figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick size comparison. Remember to drop a like. Subscribe. It takes a second. I appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. Uh, smash that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next episode of Nessie's RC. Stay tuned. we got some pit bashes coming up, some races. Uh, you name it. We're going to be doing it this summer. Thanks, guys. See you in the next episode.